So it's 3.30 in the morning, but I think it's time for another episode of Abdullah's Microcontroller Projects. So yesterday we were using this DSPIC to blink an LED. And today we're bloody producing three-phase AC. Heck freaking yes. This is part of my senior design project. Now, the way this controller is producing that is not through a DAC. It's actually using PWM. So it's varying the duty cycle all across that sine wave to produce... Uh, the signal and I'm having it do three phases. You're only seeing two because there's only two channels on this oscilloscope, but that is three phase AC. They need to be 120 degrees apart. You can see that there pretty close to 120 and also 60 Hertz right there. You can see that and there's two of them. And if you don't trust me that there's three phases, I have it right here. My logic analyzer has primitive analog recording and it shows three phases and they are indeed it's shown in the measurements there. They are. Uh, 120 degrees apart. This is three phase AC. Holy freaking heck, yes. Okay, this is the day after, but I just thought I'd add on. Um, you're seeing the sine waves. Where's the PWM that I'm talking about? So, uh, I'm so what you're seeing is the filtered output. Each of the th so there are six outputs actually, but I'm just using two of them and I'm passing them each one through an RC filter and I'm probing that uh, filtered output. And that's what you're seeing on the screen. This is just an RC filter where the cutoff is something like uh 60 ish hertz and this is a first order and the pwm is at 120 kilohertz so more than enough to filter the pwm but if you want to see the actual pwm let me go ahead and do that for the second channel so i'm triggering off the first channel so the screen is stable and then this is the second channel there you go so that was the blue phase that was you know 60 degrees or sorry 120 degrees um ahead of the sign of this yellow sine wave that's the PWM. If it's and it's hard to tell. I'm splitting a cycle into two thousand, sorry, into a hundred points, into a hundred points, and I'm giving each point twenty PWM cycles to do its thing. So overall, there's two thousand PWM cycles for one cycle of this sixty hertz sine wave. And I said that the the PWM is running at one hundred twenty kilohertz. So that's how you can do the math and figure that out. Um, so, anyways, let's see. I'm gonna single capture. And then let's go ahead and take so i'll let's see for this middle oh not this spin sorry for this lower half you should see well actually i forgot to say yeah wait this is the one that's 120 degrees off mm. let me come back to this all right about this will make more sense so i'm just probing the i'm, pro I'm probing the pwm that after it's filtered gets produces this yellow sine wave so now it's clear i'm gonna single shot that and then okay we can see now so let's see that top part so this is where the duty cycle is very close to 100 percent which yep you can see that right there very close to 100 percent to produce that top part of the sine wave the bottom part that'll be close it's you can see all it's very clearly very close to zero but we can go ahead and go closer there and yep you can see it's very short uh, a very short amount of time high and then low for most of it that's a high, that's a much lower duty cycle and then you know it varies all throughout the cycle so so yeah there we go and let me get bring back the other phase just so. yep there we go so that's that's the other phase and like i said there's three phases um and i don't know if i mentioned this in the early in the video i'll put this all together whatever it is but this is this is meant to drive three half bridges so there's three outputs uh sorry three phases each phase has two complementary outputs That'll drive a high side and low side MOSFET. And right now I'm just, like I said, probing the channels directly through a filter. But what this will actually be tied to is a gate driver. And I'm using this over here. This is a three-phase gate driver meant to drive the three H bridges in a, um, you know, in a three-phase kind of out, uh, output configuration. So I'm going to hook that up and test that next. But I think the big, big milestone was getting this sine wave uh, output correctly the pwm output correctly so yeah and amazingly the code is actually incredibly short for this because the dspic has the pwm peripherals and all you need to do is set up the registers correctly and all you need is to set up the registers correctly um actually figuring out what you need to set up does take quite a bit of reading the the data sheet actually refers you to a reference manual it's 100 plus pages so quite a lot of reading i had to do to figure out how you set it up but i have the code there i have the header files and the source files that i've written up based off of that and really all i'm doing there's nothing running in the while one you know main loop um, all i'm doing is every interrupt i increment a counter 
to keep track of how many PWM cycles. So every every PWM cycle triggers an interrupt. I count to 20. And then after 20, I update the duty cycle to the next thing. I have a big array of 100 points of a sine wave. Um, duty cycle points, I should say. So yeah, and you can see that on my GitHub for, for you know to actually see the code more in detail. But relatively speaking, compared to like other embedded projects I've done, this is such little code to produce something so cool at the output. And obviously you and obviously I can set up the code to, the controller to do more logic, like I could change the frequency of this uh, sine wave perhaps up to a certain point, or I can do other things, produce different things. Now like the power of this PWM is it can now act as kind of a DAC once you filter the output. You can this is just a sine wave. It's just taking what duty cycle points I give it that I produced using MATLAB. Anyways, uh, you can see that in my repo, but I could have it do all sorts of other periodic signals. So really wonderful and cool stuff have been unlocked by figuring this stuff out. But anyways, for my purposes, for my machine design project, this is for a three phase inverter. So this will be driving, like I said, uh, the outputs will go into a gate driver. The gate driver drives something that has a bus voltage of 40 volts, not 3.3, .3, which is what you see there. And it'll invert that. And once that is filtered, you'll get three phase sine waves that are 40 volts peak to peak uh, capable of up to 100 watts total that's the project so anyways nice update